We first showed you this video yesterday. It was the race to get some life saving anti venom across state lines. Tonight we hear from the zoo worker who helped to keep the wheels in motion. Here's Amanda Fay. I'm going to throw these frozen vegetables in there to help hold temperature. This isn't the first time John Chastain rushed to work in the middle of the night to pass off anti-venom. Here at the zoo, I mean, we have a very large reptile and amphibian collection. Uh, we Reptiles alone, we have over 150 species, and with 60 of those actually being venomous. Chastain is the general curator of cold-blooded animals at the Toledo Zoo. Yeah, so these are some we got in actually this week. He says for the safety of the keepers, the zoo stocks anti-venom for each of the venomous species in the collection. We don't keep it as a public service. However, during times of emergency, we are willing to try and help out where we can. Is this like an immediate action, like like it siren is. situation? Okay. It is, yeah. This particular case happened back in October. Chastain says the patient in Indiana was bitten by a saw-scaled viper, which is an exotic species from northern Africa. Which is a fairly dangerous one without treatment. Uh, it does cause internal bleeding and hemorrhaging. Um, so without treatment, um, there's a good chance you could succumb to a bite of this animal. In this case, Chastain says the patient had a full recovery. There you go, brother. Be safe. It's wet. But as Chastain said, the anti-venom is meant for the safety of zoo employees. It's expensive, sometimes costing thousands of dollars a vial. And having worked with reptiles for more than 20 years, he and his colleagues have a respect for the animals and discourage people from keeping them as pets. Aside from hurting yourself, you could potentially be harming others. Reporting in South Toledo, Amanda Fay, WTOL 11.